Hi guys, this is Melody. So today I'm going to show you the second look on the, my hair color series, which is for brown hair. For this look I chose a purple, a purple look, uh, because purple looks amazing with brown hair and brown eyes. Um, so what I did was a purple crease and a brown lid. Since I'm already doing a bronzy goldy look for the, um, the blonde hair uh, video, I chose to do purple for brown hair. But if you don't like using a lot of color on your makeup, then you don't have to do this look. <laughs> okay, so first thing you're going to do is apply the eyeshadow primer. Next thing, you're going to use a purple eyeliner like this one. This one is for Mysens, and it's called Touch of Glam. And what you're going to do is you're going to draw your crease line. So you're going to draw a line with a purple eyeliner uh, on your crease line. And you should use a soft eyeliner to do this. Because it's easier to, to draw the line and to smudge it later. Okay, <clears throat> so you'll have a line like this, kind of weird, and you're going to take a smudge brush, like this, it's a short, stiff brush, and you're going to smudge the line as much as you can. Now I'm using my Fraulein 38 um, warm palette, 88 warm palette, and I'm using this color right here, uh, this one, <laughs> this one right here, which is a burgundy color, kind of plum color, and with um, a fluffy brush, a blending brush, this one, you're going to uh, apply it a bit over that line, over your crease line, and, and blend it really well. Okay, and you'll have something like this. So then, using the sleek Bad Girl palette, and this color right here, which is called Rebel, and it's um, a dark burgundy color, and you, and a pencil brush like this. This one is 219 from Mac. You're going to top that line that you've drawn on your crease with this color. Then you take a large fluffy brush and you're going to blend the two colors together, lightly blend. For your lid color, I'm going to use a mix of two colors. It's going to be the color Buck from the Naked palette, which is this one, the chocolate brown, and the color from the Fraulein 38 warm palette, which is this one right here and it's a dark brown. So first I'm going to apply Buck and then I'm going to top it with this dark brown. And then apply the dark brown on top of Buck. Okay, then you're going to take a color like this one, which is a universal beige from Sephora. And it's a color that is slightly light than my skin color. And I'm going to use it to blend these edges over here and to highlight my brow bone. Uh, then for for lining the lash line, the upper lash line, I used a purple gel eyeliner from Essence, which is called Berlin Rocks. 
it's purple, it's a dark purple, like this. Um, but you can wear a, a black eyeliner as well. What you want, in terms of eyeliner, is a really thin line, cl as close to your lashes as possible, like I did on this side, because I'm not going to do a cat eye or anything like that, so you want a thin line. Then, for the lower lashes, I'm going to use the same Touch of Glam eyeliner that I used on the crease line, and I'm going to line all the lash line. Then, using a brush like this, an eyeliner brush, you can also use an angled brush, and the same burgundy color, this one. You're going to top the eyeliner with that color. Now, using the Rebel color from the Bad Girl palette, you're going to apply a bit of that color on the outer corner of your eye. Apply a black eyeliner on your waterline. So, now you're going to apply mascara, and for this look, I used a slightly colored mascara from uh, L'Oreal, which is this one, which is called Volume Million Lashes, and it's for hazel eyes. So it's done, and now I'm going to do my lips and cheeks. Um, so for your lips, I would suggest something uh, in your skin tone color. I'm using this lip gloss from Kiko Makeup in the color 108, which is a light pink color. So, now for cheeks, I'm using this blush from MAC in the color Vintage Grape. And I'm going to mix these colors because this has kind of a gradient. So this is it for a brown hair look. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!